The Golden Bachelorette star Joan Vassos had a plan in mind when she began her season, but her actions during and after the show indicate that the producers might have interfered and manipulated her into changing her mind. Joan, a 61-year-old private school administrator from Rockville, Maryland, ended her season by getting engaged to Chop Chapel, a 60-year-old insurance executive from Wichita, Kansas. They shared a deep connection throughout the season. Before the Golden Bachelorette season 1 began, Joan spoke about her plans for how she wanted it to play out. From adamantly stating that she wouldn't move away from her family to not making an engagement and marriage a priority from the outset, she knew exactly what she wanted. However, Joan's reversals during and after the show seemed to prove that the producers might have gotten in her ear and persuaded her to change her mind. Joan Vassos and Chop Chapel got engaged. Joan didn't think an engagement was necessary at first. Before Joan began her Golden Bachelorette season, she emphasized that she didn't think that an engagement was a necessary part of the process. In an interview with CNN, Joan revealed that she wasn't sure if she'd get engaged at the end of the Golden Bachelorette because she thought that people need time to get to know each other before taking such a big step together. Joan explained, if it ends up in engagement, I'm open to that. I do believe this process works. I've seen it work for so many couples on The Bachelor, so I believe in the process. Joan added, if it ends up in engagement, that's great. If it ends up in, you and I are going to get to know each other better in the outside world, that's perfect also. However, throughout the Golden Bachelorette, Joan's focus did turn to engagement, and it seemed to become more and more important to her as the weeks went by. This could have happened because she was forming such strong connections with the men, but it also could be because the producers manipulated her into ending the season with an engagement. There have been many rumors over the years that the franchise producers forced the issue, and Joan's about face on it seems to indicate that it's true. Joan Vassos and Chop Chapel are moving to New York City. Joan swore that she'd never leave her family. When Joan first began her Golden Bachelorette journey, she was adamant that she wouldn't leave her family, who lives in Maryland. They include her four adult children, her three grandchildren, her mother, and her mother-in-law from her first marriage to her husband of 32 years, John, who passed away in 2021 due to pancreatic cancer. In her CNN interview, Joan revealed that, when she was a contestant on The Golden Bachelor, lead Jerry Turner had asked her how they'd work out their relationship when he lived in Indiana, and she lived in Maryland. Joan shared, My answer to him was, and it still is my answer, I think you almost have to live a dual life. Joan then insisted, I'll never leave my family. They are the most important people in the world to me obviously, and I would expect that to be the same for the person that I end up with because family is so important to me, that would have to be a key part of their personality. Joan added, you have to be willing to travel and be with that person and maybe spend a couple of months or a couple of weeks at a time, and then maybe eventually, you figure out a destination that would work for you and your families or have another house where everybody gets together. During their final Golden Bachelorette date, Chop gave Joan a keychain of a red house, and he told her that he wanted to move to New York City with her. After the show, Joan and Chop revealed that this is now their plan. In an interview with People, Chop revealed, we're going to be going back and forth between Kansas to Maryland and to New York. We'll have a full-time place in New York and whenever we get the opportunity, we're going to be there. We're going to get it figured out this next year. Joan explained that she'll be spending time with Chock and his family in Kansas, and then he'll do the same thing in D.C. But when we want to be alone together, we'll probably be in New York. This is happening quite quickly, as Joan and Chock flew to New York City on Friday, November 15th, and planned to begin looking at apartments in Manhattan's West Village on Monday, November 18th. Joan said, That's what we think right now. It's a bit startling to hear that Joan changed her mind from not leaving her family in Maryland to spending two-thirds of her time away from them in either Kansas or New York. Although she did say that the time would have to be split, it's surprising that she's agreeing to have a full-time home in New York City with Chock. However, if the producers convinced Joan to agree to this, then it's not that shocking. Joan could have ended up leaving the show alone if she didn't bend a bit about not leaving Maryland, so the producers might have persuaded her to change her plans in order to make her relationship with Chock work.